Florida Senator Bill Nelson is with me now. Senator Nelson, welcome. Thank you, sir, for being with me. Carol. Um, you have talked with emergency officials. What is their biggest concern? Uh, everything that you've mentioned. Um, we've uh, uh, really implored FEMA to get the gasoline in. Uh, you covered it uh, very comprehensively. Uh, the roads are clogged. Uh, people are heeding the warnings. Uh, this thing is headed straight, the latest track, straight for uh, South Florida, Miami, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Palm Beach. Uh, it may go off the coast a little bit, uh, but not enough to make any difference around Jacksonville. And it goes right into South Carolina. So it's going to affect a major population. What, what, I, what can FEMA do about the gas shortage? I know that you reached out to FEMA and you said, help us get gas into Florida because we need it. How did FEMA respond? Well, FEMA is stretched. Uh, of course, they're even having to pull people out of Texas to pre-position them. Uh, that's why I left uh, Miami yesterday and came back here to Washington so we could pass this aid package. Uh, it looks like, you know, FEMA's going to run out of money tomorrow, so we've got to pass it. Looks like we're going to pass it in just a few hours, and it's going to be double the amount. It's going to be about $7.5 billion uh, to go to FEMA and another $7.5 billion to go to local government block grants for natural disasters. And, of course, we wanted to make sure that there was the flexibility in the language for the Florida storm as well as taking care of the poor folks in Texas. And well, so let me, let we're, we're going to vote so on that in just about, a couple of hours. Okay, so let's say um, you guys vote on it and it all passes. That's $15 billion total. Um, so that's only $15 billion, and FEMA's going to run out of money on Friday. Absolutely. So how right. long will that $15 billion last? Mid-October, and then we're going to have to uh, address this again. But even so, once you get around to December and the final appropriations bill, it'll have to be addressed again and again into next year. So, so you're talking minute, about Senator. major expenditures. You're, you're saying that FEMA, even if this bill flies through and President Trump signs it into law, you're saying FEMA is still going to run out of money by mid-October. Uh, it is going to be mid-October. October. This will get us uh, through. That's correct. If this hits Florida, the combination between Texas and Florida, uh, these funds will only go to mid-October. You also said that uh, FEMA was pulling people out of Texas. How many people are they pulling out of Texas to deal with Florida? Well, I can't tell you that. I don't know. Uh, but they are pre-positioning people, and that was why it's all the more essential for this appropriations package to pass today, go back to the House, pass the House, get signed into law by the president so FEMA doesn't have to shut down tomorrow. Senator Bill Nelson, thank you so much for being with me this morning. I appreciate it. Thanks.